First of all, the All Northern First Division tie drove the park between Sunderland and Leeds United. Here at Sunderland, 57,500 fans are packed into the stadium to see what promises to be one of the highlights of the fifth round played in something approaching a howling gale. About 15,000 people have made the 100-mile journey across Yorkshire from Leeds to see their much-fancied team, which is quoted to win the Cup, at 30-2 to two again. And Sunderland were in great form just at the moment. Ten games without defeat. That's their team. And two fellas to watch. Number four, Colin Todd. There he is, an 18-year-old, comes from Chesterley Street and one of the great stars of the future, everybody up here says. And, of course, number six, gentleman Jim Baxter, a world-class player, a man who has, in fact, played for the rest of the world against England. Leeds United have been plagued with injuries, but they've managed to get out of side, and number seven, Madeley, will be the man watching Jim Baxter. And the big news, as far as the Leeds fans are concerned, is that number four, Billy Bremner, is fit. There he is, an unmistakable figure, a man who means so much to Leeds United. Tail of the wind. And for those who like to keep a record of the colours, Leeds in blue shirts and yellow shorts, or gold shorts, and Sunderland all in red. Goal kick to Sunderland. Jim Montgomery played so well for the England on the 23s a couple of weeks back at Newcastle. Harvey. Brown, another firm, bouncing rather awkwardly. And it looks as if the winner of this tie could well be this howling. It will be quite happy to come back and defend solidly. Irwin. And Leeds defence having quite a spot of bother with this lively ball. Kerr. A lovely move by Leeds. Kerr, number 10. Quarter of an hour gone. Still no score. Still so far, the win. Very much the winner. John O'Hare. There he is. The outswinger then this time. Pinnell. I wonder whether Sprague had that covered or whether Hunter really had to concede that corner. Anyway, it's another corner for Sunderland and it's Baxter to take it. Mulhall, now to Baxter. Now Martin! That's a goal! Neil Martin has scored. 21 minutes. And that one seemed to swerve away. Now let's try and see that swerve in slow motion. The goal is set up by Jim Baxter on the left as he pushes it inside. Now, the, watch carefully when Martin shoots and see if you can see where the ball starts to swirl. Is it in the air or is it off the ground? Doesn't matter how or when it started to swerve, it's certainly a goal for something. Up and up off the ball. Made it. No hole. left. To Kerr. Mulhall. Mulhall. Well, that save made up for the first goal, didn't it? Remner. Side down by Martin. Free kick to Leeds United. 
This one going to be taken by Giles, and of course the tall number five, Charlton, has gone up for Leeds. Leeds, remember, a goal down. There's Charlton, it's one all. minutes gone and where oh where was the Sunderland defence goal for Jackie Charlton set up by Bremner who was lying full length Crystal side they are and the goalkeeper of Montgomery's class would have cut that out Whistle goes for half time. Scorers Martin for Sutherland, Charlton for Leeds. And considering the win, an extremely good and exciting first half. Sunderland to kick off in the second half. Now facing this howling wind. Here's young Todd in action straight away. Well be that. Leeds United will be the side putting on the pressure in the second half. Belfort. Comes Harvey. Are they having a good match? Mulhall. A young Kerr. And Bremner once again. Baxter. Oh. Once again, Bremner in the way. Oh, what a terrible mistake by Charlton. And Kerr, the man, taking advantage of it. Almost. Madeley and he's got Greening on the right wing. Five and now comes out to Giles. And you see even Montgomery misjudged that. I think the ball must swerve disastrously. There's Johnny Giles, the man who put that shot in. There's Martin. Mal Hall there taking over from him. Oh, a lovely one to Martin, it could be number two, a great save. Great save by Sprake from Martin. There's Martin, the man who engineered and completed that move. So Baxter going to take this corner. Martin, he's got his corner, saved by this goalkeeper, Sprake. What a great effort, though, by Martin. Oh, what a bad one by Herbert, and now a great chance for Greenoff. Oh, what a save by Montgomery. And Baxter going back to congratulate the goalkeeper. Well, he might. There's Greenhoff. Irwin. Mistake made early in the game. Can oh Baxter to Giles. He's going to get his name taken for that. He might well be sent off. And the Bremner keeping away the, the other Leeds players. Baxter certainly getting his name taken. Ah, goodness. Throw 
to Sunderland. And I think Charles will get his name taken. And Kinnell wants him sent off. It's a pity that Tempers getting a little frayed now. Obviously, Giles, having taken what he did from Baxter, was going to have a go back at him, and now he's got his name taken. Free kick to Sunderland. And the whistle goes for the end of the match. It's a one-all draw.